All right, good friends. We are going to talk about joins, joins, joins. And we're also going to figure out what the top selling movies are. So far, I've spared you doing lots of joins, but now we're going to get into it a little bit more. So I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to find out what the top selling movies are. Let's try to figure it out. So I think we're going to start with rental. Um, in the rental table, we have a link to the inventory table. We don't have anything about the movie in rental, but um, we do have links to it uh, in inventory ID. And well, what about revenue? There's no revenue in here, but um, there is a rental ID, I think, in the table we've been playing around with a lot in payment. So, so far, it's kind of like we start with payment. Then we can look for rental. That'll give us something about the inventory. And then maybe we need to use inventory to find more about the movie. And let's see if that works. So um, let's just restart the process here. We're going to get everything from payment fee. I really don't want everything, though. Uh, for now, I would like... Um, Actually, yeah, we're just going to do paint. Eh, let's do um, p dot rental ID um, p dot amount uh, from payment p. I'll just yeah, I don't care about the date right now. Um, that should be okay to get us started. Let's just take a look at it. Okay, and so payment we have this rental ID. We're going to want to join up the rental table. So let's just, um, sometimes it's handy to keep track of what you're doing here. So rental, you can see the columns here. Uh, left join payment, uh, from payment P, left join um, rental R on uh, P dot rental ID equals, what do you think? R dot rental ID, uh, make sure it works. All right, nothing new because we didn't add any columns from rental ID, but we can add it. We can add rental ID too. And you'll see here they're the same. This is the rental ID from the payment table. This is the rental ID from the rental table. They are the same. It does not make any sense to have them twice, but it does illustrate the fact that they're coming from two different tables and they are in fact how Postgres is joining the tables. Um, what are we really interested in here in rental though? Um, the inventory ID. So we're getting our inventory ID. So let's see what's happening there. Um, there we go. So we got some inventory IDs. Now, we still don't know enough about the, the genre of the film or what the top selling movies are. Um, but we're getting close. What if we wanted to figure out what that movie actually was? We just know it's some inventory ID. So why don't we look at the inventory table? All right, no, that has a film ID. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's clean up our joints here a little bit. And I'm just gonna do a control D and uh, we're gonna do a left join um, on, what did I say, inventory. Inventory I on I dot inventory ID equals R dot inventory ID. Make sure it still works. And you know, again, while you're doing this, pay attention to the row number that comes back. We got around 14,000 rows, still do. Um, but we don't have any new information here. Uh, well, we do have a film ID available now from inventory. So I could do I dot film ID. And that, that's, if you follow my mouse, that's uh, right here. Um, let's see what that does. Now we got a film ID. Any guesses as to where we're going to find the name of the film? Well, lo and behold, it might be in film. All right, film. So we've got to join in. Uh, <laughs> we got to get a film going on. So let's invite film to the party. Left join uh, film f on f dot film id equals i dot film id. And now we have access to the, let's just make sure it works. We have 14,596 rows, still do, because we're using left joins. We're never gonna restrict anything. They'll just return null if there's no match. 
But um, now we can finally do f.title. Hooray! Okay. Um, I don't know if these are real movies, but, you know, just use your imagination. Splash Gump, Crooked Frogman, Cider Desire. Great movies, I'm sure. So, now, what, what do we want? Well, let's see if we could join any more interesting things. Um, rental rate, replacement cost. Yeah, let's add rating just for, just for fun. Maybe we'll do something with that at the end. Um, great, so that's like RPG, PG-13. All right, so now we've got this base table. What if we wanted to see, let's actually get really, really slick here. Let's change the requirement to be, I want the top selling movie per genre. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Top selling movie per genre. Well, the problem here is that we have a row for every rental still. Um, we started uh, on the payment, so each payment corresponds to you know a, a rental, and we need to do some aggregation here. So I'm just going to do. Let's just use a um, a width. Uh, my base table. I'm just going to call it that because it forms a base for further analysis. Um, base table BT. All right. So imagine now we have this great table that almost summarized everything that we were looking to accomplish. And that's the top selling movie per genre. What do we need to do? We need to, um, we need to get the uh, BT um, title. We need to sum the BT amount. And let's just do that for a second. Don't forget your group by, got a group by the title. That's good. Let's order by two descending. So yeah, there we go. We answered our original question of what the uh, the most popular movie was, period. Uh, of course, if you wanted to just only show that, you could. Telegraph Voyage, great movie, I'm sure. But let's, um, we still need to do something with the genre, right? So what was that called? Rating? So that's somewhere in there, BT Rating. We're going to get an error on the group by. We're going to fix it by adding the column that we just added to the group by. And okay, NC17. Now we're ordering by two, which doesn't make any sense. We added a column, so we're going to order by three again. And, you know, maybe there's some way to kind of filter it down with offsets and ordering to only get the top, uh, the top movie per genre. But you know what? It's another good chance to use our window function our friend row number over partition. So, um, I'm going to keep doing these. This is, again, remember this is called a common table expression. That's not table, that's table. And uh, they're your friends. So we can chain these actually. So we could say uh, next table as, and um, we can select all. <laughs> From next table and so now we have this as a table uh, and what do we want to do with it we want to get the um, let's keep my from a little cleaner here we're gonna call it NT right we're gonna we're gonna select everything from it for the moment and we're gonna go back to our good friend row number and again this function it makes more sense the longer you play with it it might just look like gibberish right now but really what we're trying to do is we're trying to partition by, um, what are we trying to partition by? We're trying to partition by NT dot uh, rating. And we're trying to order by NT dot sum descending, because we want the best one. I'm just gonna call that as like genre, I'm sorry, rating rank. Uh, from that table. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so what did we do here? Let's take a look at the results and see if they make any sense. Um, so these are all our G movies. The rank definitely looks good, right? Like rank one here corresponds to the highest amount of revenue in the G. Let's make sure it restarts every rating though as we go further down into the movies here. 
right? So we just got to the PG. When did we get to that? Okay, up. Oh, so it did restart. All right, so it restarts there. Um, so it does appear to be working, actually. So all we really need to do is um, we just want this table where the rating rank is equal to one. So at this point, you, you know, if you followed the previous videos, you should know what to do. Um, go ahead and write that outer query uh, and throw a where clause on it. You'll be done and you'll feel good about yourself. I will do that right now uh, from the below. And we're going to call it, we're going to call it, um, uh, we're just going to call it T. We're at T dot rating rank equals one. And there we go. We've got the most popular films by film rating. So uh, we're doing really well here. Let's just recap what we did. We've got the, uh, we've set up our base table, which was a common table expression. And then we created another common table expression, just called next table. We could call it whatever we want. But a lot of times when you're trying to reason about your actual SQL, a good strategy is just to start with a common table expression. That lowers the mental overhead of continuing to massage the query. Maybe even use another one. And then select something from that other one that gives you the right, the right metrics to query on and use an outer select and just slap a where clause on there. And a lot of times you'll be in business. So hope that was helpful. We'll do a lot more examples with these um, row numbers, but see the patterns, common table expressions, lots of left joins, make sure the row numbers don't change because when you have inner joins, you need to make assumptions about whether or not the data exists on both sides of the join. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We're going to keep doing this stuff. Good job.